Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to start the second part of this book, Dhuus Lughat Al Arabiya, Al Dhuus Al Sani. And we will start this book from lesson number one. Page number four on PDF. Page number four on PDF. First, we will read the grammar of this. Start reading this grammar. Miss Parveen, start reading this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lesson, we learn the following. In in Arabic, there are two types of sentences. The uh, the nominal sentence, al-jumla tul. Ismiya tu? Yes, Abjumna tu Ismiya. Where is the first word is in is a noun? For example, Al Kitabu. Uh, sahilun. The book is easy. Al Kitabu Sahilun. The book is easy. The noun which commences the nominal sentence is called the Muqtada. Okay. Al Muqtada u. While the second part is called the khabara, Khabar. al khabar. Okay. Okay. Jumla ismiya. What is jumla ismiya? Tell me in simple words. Nominal sentence. What is nominal uh, sentence? It is noun, I think. Yes. Any sentence which starts with a noun is called jumla ismiya. Nominal sentence. Okay. Okay, sir. And then, and the noun which is at the, which start this jumla uh, ismiya is called muktada. Muktada means subject. Muktada means subject. subject and the uh, rest, yes. And the rest part of the sentence is called predicate, which is in Arabic yes, it is called khabar. Al khabar. So, okay. In Arabic, subject is called muktada, and Sentence which starts with a noun is called jumla ismiya. Next, the the verbal sentence al jumla tul failiyatu. Failiyatu. Yes, failiyatu. Failiyatu. Wherein the first word is a verb. For example, Raja Bilalun. Bilal went out. What is jumla failure? Uh, this indicate a verb in a sentence. The sentence which starts with the verb is called jumla failure. In English, we don't have verbal sentence. We would don't have jumla failure, but in Arabic, we have jumla failure. For example, look at the sentence. Verb come first, uh, then come noun. So this is called jumla failure. The verb is written before the noun. That's why it is called jumla failure. Whereas in jumla ismiya, the noun is written in the start and the verb is written at the end. Okay. So this is the difference. Oh, okay. Uh, it means the nominal sentence which starts the sentence which starts from noun and the mm. which sentence it starts from a verb. It is called yes. Uh, jumla failure. Al jumla tu failure. It is only in Arabic sentences, not yes. used in English. In English, uh, all sentences are uh, no, nominal sentences. Jumla ismiya. Okay, sir. But in Arabic, we have two types of sentences: jumla ismiya, jumla filiya. Okay, next. The uh, the particular inna is the used. Particle. Uh, the, <coughs> sorry, ha. Huh? The particle inna is used at the beginning of a nominal sentence. For example, inna, inna al kitaba sahlun. 
الكتاب سهل نوٹ دیر دا ناؤن آفٹر ان از منسوب Any word which has fatta on it is called mansub. Any word, any noun which has fatta on it is called mansub. It is called mansub. What is mansub? Any word that is uh, uh, used fatta. Mm. At the end is called mansub. Okay. So After you know in that. Non- The word. Yes. Okay. You the know word that when use. we have alif in the start of verb, in the start of the noun, we use dhamma at the end. But after the use of inna, this word become mansub. That's why we are using fatayer. We are using fatayer because of inna. Okay. Okay, sir. Next. After the introduction of Inna, the Muptada is no longer called Muptada, but it but is instead called Ismu Inna, and the Khabar is called Khabaru Inna. In the previous paragraph, do you learn that nominal sentence has two part, subject and predicate. Subject is called Muptada. Al Kitab was the subject. Al Kitab was the mubtada of nominal sentence, and Sadun is the predicate of the nominal sentence, Jumla Ismiya. But after the introduction of Inna, Al Kitab is not subject; it is not mubtada, and Sadun is not uh, predicate; it is not khabar. Al Kitab is khabru Inna. Okay, or Al Kitab is ismu Inna, and Sadun is khabru Inna. Okay. Sorry, sir. Please repeat once. Take a look here. The noun which commences the noun of the ismia sentence is called mubtada subject. Okay. Okay, sir. And the predicate of jumla ismia is called khabar. In this sentence, tell me what is uh, mubtada and what is predicate. Al kitabu is mubtada and the sahelun is al khabar. Khabar. Yes, sir. Khabar okay. is predicate. Now, now in this sentence we have added inna. We have added inna. inna. Now we don't have subject. We don't have khabar, but we have. Ismu inna. Al kitab is ismu inna. Okay. Ismu. And okay. salon is khabru inna. Salon is khabru inna. Khabru. And the predicate of the one. Inna. That's it. Okay. Okay. Ismu inna and khabru inna. Read this. Uh, inna signifies emphasize. Emphasis. Okay. It it can be translated as indeed, surely, mm-hmm. no doubt, and verily. Okay. Note the following: If the muktada has one dhamma, it <coughs> changes to one fata after inna. For example. Inna, inna al mudar. Al mudarisu jadidun. <coughs> al mudarisu jadidun. Inna al mudarisa jadidun. What changes the word inna made in this sentence? Before using inna, uh, al mudarisu here 
सी मुदर रिसू यूज दम्मा सिंगल दम्मा बट आफ्टर यूजिंग इन न इट चेंजेस इन फता दम्मा इट चेंजेस फता इन न आ सॉरी आ मिना तू टॉयली बतून आ मिना तू टॉयली बतून इन न आ मिना ता पॉली बतून here is uh, also same changes if the mubtada has two damma they changes to two fata for example hamidun maridun inna hamidan maridun here okay. hamidun uh, double damma is used <coughs> but after using inna uh, damma is converted into two fata <coughs> And also, in case of masculine verb, we also use alif. Alif. Okay. In case of masculine verb, we only okay. Yes. If the mubtada is pronoun, it changes <coughs> its corresponding mansu. from uh, for for example anta ganiyun anta ganiyun innaka ganiyun so instead of anta we are using ka we are using ka and this word is inna okay sir Uh, for the mansub forms of all the pronouns see exercise 3 in the main book we will study this in the exercise 3 in detail of the chapter not that the pronouns of the first person singular and plural have two forms so what is the meaning of in the inna uh, indeed I, surely indeed i inna or oh, indeed we sorry indeed we <coughs> okay? okay and inna na is the same word indeed we okay and sir. inni indeed i inna ni indeed i both word are same next lal Read this. Ah, la alla. This is also particle like inna. <coughs> It is called one of the sisters of inna. Sisters of inna means all the rules of inna. Will be applied on lal la also. Okay. Lal la. Okay. Grammatically. And the of lal la is hope or fear. Hope or fear. Hmm. That means okay. lal la means hope or fear. Yes. It depends on sentence. In some sentence, lal la mean hope. And in some sentences, it means fear. Like the uh, examples are written here of both hope and fear. In this sentence, Lala mean hope, and in this sentence, Lala mean fear. He is a fear of something. Okay. One is positive meaning, and other is negative meaning. It depends on sentence. Ah. Uh. Al Jawu Jamilun. The weather is fine. La Al La Al Al Jawu La Al Jawa Jamilun. Okay. 
okay i hope the weather is fine another thing aljo damma but after the introduction of lala it become mansoob it become mansoob it has fata okay ओके समझ आ गई बोला अल 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 मदरसु 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 मरीदुन मरीदुन टीचर इज सिक So you learned the both meanings of the same word in these two sentences. In this lesson, we have examples of I hope only. So we will use only the positive meaning of Lala in this chapter. Yes, sir. So, uh, so. Yes, yeah, you. This. Word meaning having or possessing. Yes. For example, zo malin possessing wealth yes. that yes. is yes. wealthy. Zo khulokin possessing manner that is well manner. Zo ilmin possessing knowledge that is learned. It is always mudaf. Yes, this and means that all the rules of mudaf that you learned will be applied on zoo. Okay. And the uh, following word is mudaf ille. And the next word after zoo will always be mudaf ille. All the rules of mudaf ille will be applied on the next word. Therefore, it yeah. is majroo. So we'll, one of the rule of mudafale yeah. is that it is always majroo, and that's why this word, all these words are majroo. But do you know what is majroo? What is that? Do you know what is majroo? Mansoob. Majroo. Majroo. Majroor, majroor. Don't know, sir. Any word which has kasra is called majroor. Okay. Any word. Okay. Yes, any noun which has kasra at its end is called majroor. Okay. What is mansoor? And uh, mansoor, any word or noun which is which is uh, end with fata. Okay. That is Mansoor. Okay, good. Then. Okay. Okay. It is always Mudaf. Oh, sorry. The uh, feminine of Zu is Zatu. For example, Zatu Khulukin. No, sorry. Waaf. Waaf. Zatu Khulukin. Sentence start with Bilalun. बिलाल इज लर्न एंड हिज सिस्टर इज वेल manner manner so you see that for bilal we are using zu but for his sister which is feminine we are using zatu the plural of zu is za zau zavu zau zavu zau and that of zat is zawatu for example 
هاولاي طلاب هذا الطالب هذا طالب ذو خلق هاولاي طلاب ذو خلق so you see that for one student we are using zu but for plural student we are using zavu yes sir haza talibatu zatu khuluqin sorry hazihi talibatu zatu khuluqin haulai talibatu zawatu khuluqin for one female student we are using zatu and for plural female student we are using zawatu um it means or but only in an interrogative sentence atabibun anta Am uh, Muhandisun? Okay. Are you a doctor or an engineer? <clears throat> Am in Firanza? Who are Am in Who are Am in Is he from France? Or Germany. A Bilalan, A Bilalun, or either Am Hamidan, reduce Bilal or Hamid. Here you learn that Here. in interrogative sen sentences we use uh, Am for the word or. In interrogative sentences, we use the word um for the word or. But we, uh, what we use in simple sentences for the word or? Um. No. In simple sentences, we don't use um. Oh, this is oh, um is for oh. only interrogative sentences. For positive sentences, we used war. Ow. Ow, sorry, ow. And what is the Hindi of or? Or. Nay. Or mean ya. Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. yeah. You always confuse this word. And what is the uh, in Arabic of or? Or? In, that in, is. In, uh, in Hindi, you. Hindi mein aap use kati na aur uski arbi kya hogi? Ya ki arbi? Ye to aao hogi positive mein aap. Ya ki arbi aapne seek kiya aao aur aam hai. Lekin jo Hindi mein aap use kati na aur alif aur e aur uski kya hogi arbi? Uski arbi hai wow. Kyunki wo khair aapne seek kiya lekin confused ho jati hai. Chale aage chalte hain. Read this. Note that particle Hamza recites mm -hmm. one of the two things about which the question is asked, while Am um, recites the other. So it is wrong to say Aanta Mudarisun Am Twalibun. This is a wrong sentence. Azahabta ila makkata am juddata. This is also wrong sentence. Now we will run the correct sentence of this sentence here. This is the correct form of sentence. Okay. Am udarisun anta am tualibun. Ilai Makata Zahabta Am A Ila Ay 
ओके आ इला माई आ इला मक्कता जहबता अम इला जुद्दा था In a non-interrogative uh, non sentence, "ow" is used for "or." For example, "khus." What is this, sir? "Khus." "Khus haza ow." "Khus haza ow zaka." Take this or that. "Ra'aytu." हंड्रेड अच्छा एक बात है कि जब भी आपके बैकग्राउंड से आवाज़ वगैरह आ रही है ना तो अभी तो हम दो इन कोई मसला नहीं है कोई इशू नहीं है लेकिन जब ये होता है कि तीन होते हैं उसमें अगर किसी एक के बैकग्राउंड से भी कोई आवाज़ आ रही हो ना तो फिर बाकी दो डिस्टर्ब होते हैं काफ़ी तो कोशिश क्या करें कि जिस हम तीन हों क्लास दे रहे हों तो उस दिन बैकग्राउंड में ज़रा कुछ ना हो अभी खैर है कोई मसला नहीं अभी हम तो दो ही हैं पढ़ते रहें में क्या अभी पढ़े अभी कोई मसला नहीं अभी हम सब दो है ना कोई इशू नहीं है शोर बेशक आता रहे लेकिन जब ज्यादा होते हैं फिर प्रॉब्लम होती है अभी पढ़े खैर आगे पढ़े नाउन दैट मिया टू द अलिफ इज नॉट प्रोनाउंस्ड इट इज प्रोनाउंस्ड मिया टू In certain countries, it is also written like this without the alif. Me at all. After these two hundreds, the ma. First, uh, I will ask you one question. What is the plural of kitab? Kutubun. And real. Real. रियालात, ओके, आफ्टर दिस टू नंबर माधूत इज सिंगुलर मजरूर 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 व्हाट इज मादूद मादूद मींस सब नहीं सॉरी क्या है ये द थिंग व्हिच इज काउंटेड इज कॉल्ड मादूद ओके फाइव गर्ल्स What is madud in this sentence? Five girls is a madud. What is madud in this sentence? I have tell you a sentence. Five girls. What is madud in this sentence? Girls. Girls. Okay. And what is adad in this sentence? Five. Good. Mia tu kitabin. What is madud? kitabin is the madud and what is adad adad okay miatin is the adad okay what is majrur majrur which word is end with kasra okay the word which end with kasra is karma okay now this read this line again After these two numbers, the madud is singular. Mazroor. The next word is always singular, and it is always mazroor. It must have these two qualities. Okay. Okay. 
what are two numbers mia and alaf after mia the next word is always singular and majur and after alf also the next word is always singular and majur did you understand okay sir now read these examples mia to kitab kitab why we are not using kutub in the plural word because because, because of this rule okay okay we can only use singular word with mia and alaf we cannot use plural word yes These uh, these rules only used in these words miatu and alfuna. Yes. Okay. Now, keep reading. Yes. Alfu riyal in one thousand riyals. आप हैंड फ्री यूज करती हैं नहीं करती क्लास के टाइम जी हैंड फ्री यूज करती हैं हैंड फ्री जी मैं तो ये ईयरफोन लगाई हुई हूं हां वो ईयरफोन है हैंड फ्री ठीक है ओके पढ़े आगे हाजत अल्फाजु बी एल सी रियल इन ये फर्क आ गया नई चीज आ गई यहाँ पे देखिए मिया के ऊपर दम्मा था अल्फ के ऊपर दम्मा था लेकिन यहाँ पे इन, इनके साथ अब कसरा आ गया तो ये कसरा का वजह आप यहाँ पे सीखेंगे चेक करें क्या वजह है मियातिन एंड अल्फिन मियातु एंड अल्फ हैव द सेम फॉर्म विद द फेमिनाइन मादुद एंड आल्सो फॉर एग्जांपल अल्फ मुस्लिमातिन व मियातु तालिबातिन इन गेम विद मैस्कुलिन वर्ड वी आर आल्सो यूजिंग मिया एंड विद फेमिनिन वर्ड वी आर आल्सो यूजिंग मिया in masculine word we are using alf with feminine word we are also using alf it is same for both masculine and feminine okay okay sir okay walin mm-hmm. extensive Hazal kitabu walin. This book is expensive. Walin. Okay. Here walin is not mazroor. Not mazroor. This marfu. Do you know what is marfu? Marfu. I think it is. Uh, adjective form of the sentence. Any you... word, any noun which has dhamma or dhamma tain at its end is called marfu. Okay. Okay. Now tell me what is mansub? Mansub. Ah, uh, what is mansub? Any any word or nouns which end with fata. Okay. What is majroor? Any word or noun that end with kasra? What is marfu? Which is end with damma? Okay. 
Dhamma or so double dhamma? Yes, single dhamma or double dhamma, both. Okay. Now here we see a word which has two kasra. So we should say it majroor. But here he is telling us that this word is not majroor. Now he will tell us the reason why it is not majroor, why it is majroor. Because its actual form is ghaliyun, which we see is majroor. But we are written, writing a short form here and that's why we are getting confused. But in reality, this word is marfu. Okay? Okay. The letter Ya along with its Dhamma has been omitted. Omitted and the none of noon. the mean has noon and the noon of the noon has been transferred to the preceding letter by the yun so the actual word is gali yun and we are writing the short form which is galin and it is the noon is ordered this is a little difficult one okay here are some more words of this type which are written in the short form for these are all these words read this if uh, sir, if we write full words then is the sem uh, sentence is wrong mm, you can say that it is wrong Now we have to use the traditional as the council. Okay, read this. Yeah. Ana uh, Moha a lawyer. Mohamiyun. Mohamiyun. Actual word. Yes, sir. Okay. But we don't use actual word, we use the short form which is Mohamin. Next. Kwaziyun, a judge. Kwazin. 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 Abi Kwazin. Father is judge. Kwaziyun. Avali Kwazin. Haza Kwazin. This is our value. Okay. You you will later learn more about this class of nouns, inshallah. Ta'ala. Okay. At the moment you didn't learn any detail about these words. They are just told you that we use short form. But later they will tell you in detail why we use this short form inshallah. Okay. It is a little difficult topic, that's why they are not telling you at the moment. Okay. Limited words. These yes. are the limited words. No. Yes, limited words or short form words. No vocabulary. Mia Tun, hundred. Zakiun, intelligent. Alfun, thousand. Wani yun, stupid. Abi yun. Abi yun, stupid. Rubai yatun, yupi. Kulukun, manner. Saf hatun, page. Mutazawajun, married. Najihun, one who has passed the examination. Azabun, Azabun, unmarried. Yahudiun, Azu, Walid, and expensive. Yahudun, Zeus. Now, uh, J ko Z ki fawaz me patti hai usse. Balak pade usse. Uh, is you. A 
इस अल्फाबेट को तो पढ़े फाली जे ये जे है जे जे सर आसान हो रही है आज ये मुकम्मल हो गया ये बस वोकेबुलरी और कुछ नहीं है तो बस आप ये पेज नंबर नोट कर लें नेक्स्ट टाइम इन शाला जब कभी इसकी हम आएंगे ना की पे पेज नंबर एट है ये पेज नंबर एट आप नोट कर लें इसी तरह ये किताब मैं आपको भी इंशाल्लाह शाला भेजूँगा इस पर आपको यहाँ पर क्लास ऑफ कुलवा नज़र आ रहा है क्लास ऑफ अया फातमा कोशिश करें कि ये दोनों क्लासें आप देख लें ठीक है इस पर क्लिक करेंगे वीडियो चल पड़ेगी